What's up guys, it's Johnny from the shop. So today is a part two of an earlier video where I looked at these linear actuators and my automated cabinet. So if you haven't seen that video, I'd watch it first. You got a little backstory on what we're going to do. So today we're going to torture test one of these linear actuators. We got it hooked up in a little jig. Um, made out of a, like a ladder and a couple of 2x4s and some clamps. Just kind of cobbled together, but it's strong enough to test it and hopefully the motor will fail before the jig, but we'll take you guys with us and we'll see what fails first. Alright, so the first lift is just going to be two gallons of water, about 16 pounds. No problem at all, let's add some weight. Okay, for the next one we'll do 32 pounds, four gallons of water. Slowing down a little bit, but we'll keep going. For the next lift, I've got a five gallon jug, about 45 pounds all together. All right, she's still going. Let's keep going. At right, this time, it is seven gallons of water, right around 61 pounds. Let's put the spurs to her. So for this one, we've got 10 gallons of water, and the jug's right about 90 pounds. I don't know. Ooh. 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 Definitely starting to slow down. So let's see what else we can put on here. So 12 gallons of water, right about 106 pounds. Still going. Alright, so 14 gallons of water right at 122 pounds. Okay guys, so the weight's 122 pounds, that's pretty much all the water I got that can easily be set up in that little jig we had, plus I don't really want to break my ladder, and something tells me this thing is way stronger than that. Um, I mean, it is slowing down, but really not all that much. So uh, we're going to run it in the vise and see what happens when we, you know, pretty much lock it up. Yeah, and it looks like there's some protection in there that's stopping it from uh, pretty much overloading. So, I mean, the motor's not hot at all. The junction box is a little warm, and the power supply is starting to get warm. But we will have to see if we can't get some weights in um, or see if uh, there's some way to override that. Okay, guys, so luckily I found that the motor connector will go right into the power supply. Just basically straight 24 volts in and uh, let's see what happens. And I think she's right dickered. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can't hook her back up and See if she'll go the other way. Yeah, she's not happy.
Yeah, I think we broke her, fellas. All right, so in the next video, we'll take it apart and see if we can find out what happened to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed me dicking around out here and breaking this thing. Um, like I said, in the next video, we'll take it apart and see what happened. But uh, hopefully, um, I still got two of the other motors and the power supplies and stuff like that. So still looking for project ideas. If you guys can think of anything, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you next time, guys.